Good morning. I would like to welcome everyone here for our Have a Heart Food Drive. This year we had our student council do our collection. Mrs. Boyd, Mrs. Pagano, and Ms. Finnerty, and Mrs. Mitch also helped us out with our food collection. I want to thank all the parents who came to the school to drop off the items and all the kids that encouraged their parents to bring things to the school. We could not have done it without you. I would like to welcome, introduce our mayor who is doing this Have a Heart food drive for the township. Also with us today is Mrs. Meehan, one of our council people from Colonia. All right, and now I'll introduce Mr. Mayor, Mayor McCormick. <laughs> Thank you very much, Madam Mayor. Principal. It's always a pleasure to be here. This is the most fun um, Have a Heart Drive event of the year normally because we have the third graders here and we go through the typical talk about food and food groups and why it's important and then we have a Q&A with the kids and it is just hilarious. I love the third graders. It's like the perfect age. They're old enough to know to ask good questions, but they're young enough not to be too cool to be, you know, out talking to the mayor at a press conference. So it really is nice. I want to thank uh, Ms. Boyd, Ms. Pagano, and Ms. Finnerty, all right, and Ms. Mitch, and of course the principal for everything you've done. This is um, in the middle of a pandemic and there's a whole bunch of food behind us. So you should be congratulated um, January and February are very light months for food drives. Everybody pays attention, <coughs> excuse me, in November and December during the holidays. And like Peter will tell you, uh, the, the winter becomes a very tough time. So that's why many, many years ago, uh, Peter helped organize the Have a Heart Food Drive, which ties in with Thanksgiving and the Heart and 214. And we ask uh, people to bring or companies to bring in donations of 214 pounds of food or $214. And uh, this year, it's been terrific, and just overall, the food drive this year during the pandemic, we have raised, I think now, Peter, <laughs> excuse me, well over 300000 300000 at least. At least. Just 65000 from the <coughs> And how many pounds of food? Uh, we're probably in the $10,000 range. 10,000 pounds. 10,000 pounds of food. So this has been an amazing effort, um, and I want to thank everybody involved. I will now introduce Peter. Peter is the uh, one of our employees in the health department. He's the guy in the middle who takes all the food from the donors and gets it all out to the donees with the help of 11 different food pantries in Woodbridge. Normally those men and women would be here to celebrate and give us a chance to thank them, but even though they're not here, uh, we do want to thank them. And we do have all of our, or most of our students here I see Mackenzie, I see Juliana, I see Harinth, a whole bunch of people here that I know. This is great that you guys are able to join us. Wave if you're happy to be here. Wave, there you go. All right, wave if you brought food. Wave if you think it's important for, to get food to people who need it. All right, great class, they're well trained. <laughs> Let me uh, turn it over now to Peter Barcelona to talk a little bit more about the entire uh, We Feed Woodbridge and Have a Heart Food Drive. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. And again, I, I always first thank the mayor and the council and the administration for their support of We Feed Woodbridge. Uh, we Feed has been in existence since 1992. Um, our pantries currently, due to the pandemic, uh, we were 600 families last February. When we were here last February, 600 families. Um, as, of, as of the end of December, we're over 1,300 families. So our pantries are being stressed to the max, um, trying to help as many people as we pop possibly can help during obviously these difficult times but the, the board of education and the schools and the principals have been very supportive for a lot you know doing drive drive by th uh, food drives dropping off food so we've been able to have that uh, continue to um, have have a heart food drive as the mayor said we raised um, just from january 1st until now sixty five thousand dollars prior to that we raised um, during the pandemic, about two hundred and fifty thousand dollars, about a quarter of a million dollars, um, and that that money is fed back to our food pantries to purchase food from the community food bank at Hillside. Um, our pantries tap into McFoods, which is the county warehouse uh, in in East Brunswick. Um, our pantry our pantries are doing their own food drives within their own uh, communities, so we're taking support and food from as many. Um, places that we possibly can, and, and so far it's worked. Our pantries are, are pretty well stocked. Um, they have money to, to purchase those needs, the perishables um, that we can't, we generally don't collect on a food drive. Um, they purchase, uh, we, we partner with Wegmans and ShopRite and Stop and Shop and Panera Bread, Wawa, 
Seasons 52. Uh, it goes on and on that we take food from them every day, uh, bring it into our pantries, it's put into a freezer, and then we hand it out. Um, so on behalf of, of the people that we serve and our 100 volunteers or more, you know, I say thank you to the mayor and thank you, um, Ms. Martino, for continuing the food drive in a, in a different, different sense that we are here today. But uh, it's good to see the kids here. And I have my grandson here, who's a third grader uh, at uh, Robert Masenic School here. So he would normally have been here with his fellow students. But um, I brought him as a little token to uh, you know, he's my helper, he's my pal, to make sure um, people, people understand the need. The, the need is very great, but the, the support is even greater. So um, I'm, I'm very positive and very, very, um, that we'll get through this. So have a great day. Thanks. All right, young man, what's your name? Eddie. Teddy? Eddie. 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 Oh, that's right. You're Mullen, of course. You have no choice but to be named Eddie. <laughs> and you realize, too, you have no choice but to become a volunteer fireman when you grow up, right? <laughs> Your dad, your grandparent, your grandfather, right? You're, you're doomed. Your whole future is laid out for you. You got to be a fireman. You know that, right? No. Yeah, all right. Come on. Uh, no, all right. Smart. Make up your own decision. So tell me why do you think it's, you can take the mask down if you want. Tell me why do you think it's important that the school here gets involved to bring food in? Because people need to eat. All right. And because of the, the virus? This people don't get enough because because why wouldn't they have enough because of the virus? Because you lose your job. Ah, very good. So that's where I was going with that. Very good. So moms and dads lose their jobs, and they don't have the money to afford it. What else do you want us? What did you bring in? Did you bring in anything yourself? Did uh, you bring in the cocoa pebbles? <laughs> if you did, well, I don't remember. If you did, bring me in one of the cocoa pebbles while you're at it. All right. <laughs> anything else you want to say? Happy? You got your classmates all on the screen there. Can you want to wave to them? Say this is Eddie Mullen. You guys all see Eddie? No, they can't. Oh, they can't see. Oh, yeah, oh. that's the screen. I get it. Wait to Eddie. Wait to Eddie, guys. <laughs> <laughs> You're a TV star now, dude. All right, now I'd like to introduce uh, Councilwoman Debbie Meehan. Normally, uh, if this was a normal year, she would have had a um, taste of Colonia at the Colonia Country Club the first week in February, usually a Friday night, I think, or a Thursday night. And she would have raised anywhere between five and $10,000 at that event. And she would have been here with the people in the Colonia business community presenting that check, which she does every single year. But of course, that event couldn't happen this year. So let me ask Debbie to say a few words. <coughs> Good morning. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> this is always one of our favorite stops because all the kids are here and it's so great to talk to them and they have such great answers and they know so much about how people are hungry and more than ever right now we need to keep giving food to the food banks. Uh, like the mayor said, we usually do our taste of Colonia. We couldn't do it this year. We get, we get a lot of food. We usually raise like ten, twelve thousand um, dollars $12,000. And it's a great event. So instead, tomorrow we're going to partner up with Colonia Middle School children over at the Evergreen from 10 to 2 to collect food. So at least we could do something. It, we won't be able to give as much, but we'll definitely give something. And, you know, it's just, it's so important that the township and everybody comes together to continue to donate to these pantries because people are hungry. Normal people that have jobs that lost jobs and we saw it through the holidays it was heartbreaking to see how many people lost jobs so please continue to give give two hundred fourteen dollars if you can the need goes through all year long we don't stop on uh, Valentine's Day but please continue to give and thank you for everybody that has Stick with that colonial uh, tomorrow is it uh, 10 to 2 tomorrow 10 to yeah. 2 tomorrow just in case this shows on TV People yes. can drive into Evergreen? Yes, yeah. Evergreen. And okay. the kids will be there with the signs. And you can buy Girl Scout cookies. Okay. So, Very good. working together. So. <laughs> could you, you can also buy Girl Scout cookies and donate them to the food drive. Yes, you can. Absolutely. There's a good answer. Okay. Go. All right. Well, I'm going to present this proclamation now to Principal Martino. Actually, uh, Eddie, why don't you come on in the picture with me? Why don't you give this to your principal's probably always giving you awards and things. Why don't you present this to your principal and tell her why you're presenting it and what it means? I'm Come on up, teachers. I'm presenting this because we raised a lot of food this year. All right. Very good. <laughs> 